Hey guys, it's NKBX62 here. How's it going, everybody? I hope you guys enjoy this. This is me playing The Walking Dead. I wasn't feeling too well yesterday, so I didn't really record and I was playing games with friends all day, and yeah. So, um, now that that said, let's get started and continue on from where we left off. We left off with, like, Kenny dropping us off at some cutscene. So, let's do that. Um, yeah, sorry for not being there. We're recording in any thing lately. Um, I'm gonna be recording some Witch's House and probably Pokemon tonight, so hope you guys enjoyed that. And I'll try and get that up as soon as possible, because I really haven't recorded much Pokemon lately, and that's bad of me, because I need to... I want to have a series I'll finish. Well, this is as far as we're going. And I hope you guys do, too. Trucks run out of gas. Fuck! Oh dear Jesus, he had to say that, didn't he? Wow. Zombies. Let him get bit. Oh, come on, let him get bit. Oh, hello. Yeah, use a gun, smart one. Oh god. That is not gonna hold at all. We can't take risks like this. And we can't just let people die either. When I say that door stays shut no matter oh my what, god, I lag. fucking mean it. We don't know who these people are. They could be dangerous. Worse, they could have let them right to us. Where the hell is your humanity? We have kids with us. I see one little girl. What is it? I... I have to pee. I'd go out there again in a second. I bet you would. Then just go! They've got kids, Lily. Those things outside don't care. Maybe you should go join them then. You'll have something oh. in common. God damn it, Lily. You have to control these people. Carly and Glenn just ran out there. I don't give a flying fuck. We're in a war zone. She's the leader here, but it looks like she's losing control of her people. If you were in my shoes, you'd be the... Holy shit. Son of a bitch. One of them is bitten. He wasn't bitten. Hell, he wasn't. We have to end this now. Over my dead body, we'll dig one hole. No, I'm cleaning him up. There's no fight. He's fine. Don't you fucking people get it? We've already seen this happen. We let someone with a bite stay in, and we all end up bitten. Shut up. We gotta throw him out, or smash his head in. Kenny, stop him! Look, what do we do about this guy? Dad, it's just a boy. It, it's... Lily, we reason with him. We reason with him. With the bloody end of an axe handle, maybe. Nobody threatens my boy. Everyone, chill the fuck out! Nobody is doing anything. Shut up, Lily. And you, shut the fuck up. They will find us, and they will get in here, and none of this will fucking matter. But right now, we're about to be trapped in here with one of those things. What the hell are you talking about? He's bitten! That's how you turn! He's not bitten. Please stop this. It's upsetting him. Oh, I'm upsetting him. Upsetting is getting eaten alive. Dad, Sit down or else, you punk. It's a big deal. Sit down. That's it. You're gonna whoop me? <laughs> You in one homo parade. This one. <laughs> That's good. Little boy, before you eat your mommy, you can watch your dad get his nose broken. I'm gonna kill him, cat. Just worry about duck. Lee! Yeah? There's someone in there. It's just locked. Key's behind the counter. Probably. Hey, I'm not the bad guy here. I'm just looking out for my daughter. No, you're just the guy arguing for killing a kid. He's covered in muck. She'll find the bite. Watch. She won't. And if she does, the first thing he'll do is sink his teeth into his mom's face. Then, once she's dead, he'll probably pounce on your little girl. Then we deal with it then. 
but right now we're just freaking everybody out. Then get ready to deal with it, because that boy is bitten. Not gonna happen. It is. And we're tossing him out now. No! You don't touch that boy. You don't touch anybody. I've got a little girl I'm trying to protect in here, too. You want to get violent, you old fuck? Well, come on! You better have a plan to kill me, though, because it's me before anyone else in here! <coughs> <laughs> Really, dude, get up. We got Q, 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 Come on, Q. Oh, God, bless her. I almost got bit in there. That was scary. Jesus. Why are you shaking? You okay? Just great, thanks. Uh, guys? Everybody down! Stay quiet! I gotta get in! Shut up! Is that the military? We almost died because of this bitch and Richie trigger finger. That was stupid. That was. Uh, uh, Dad! Uh, uh, uh. Well, what's wrong with it? It's his heart. My pills. Um, nitroglycerin pills? Yes, we're out. We've been trying to get into the pharmacy since we got here. Please try to get in there. Behind the counter where the pills are. Oh, really? There's probably another entrance. Maybe through the office. How do you know that's an office? Uh, educated guess. It doesn't matter. We need nitroglycerin pills. Please get in there. I'll keep an eye on my dad. Everyone else should get comfy and look for anything useful. We could be in here a while. I'm starting to think this drugstore isn't a permanent solution. You're right. This ain't exactly Fort Knox. What do you suggest? We need as much gas as possible, so we can all get out of downtown Macon. Fast. Agreed. And I'll head out and get gas. There's a motel, not too far from here, out towards the end of Peachtree. I'll work my way towards it, and then loop back, siphoning what I can. You know your way around? Local? Born and raised. If you're gonna do that, here's a walkie-talkie if you get in a tight spot. Hopefully, you won't need it. Cool. Clementine's got the other one. Check in with her and get back here as soon as you can. And you, what's your name? It's Lily. My dad's Larry. Keep a good eye on him. These boys will work on getting you your medicine. That's right. And you, you keep an eye on that front door. You're our lookout. It's Doug. You got it. And I'm Carly. Okay, Carly. You'll shift in with Doug when he needs it. For now, get some rest. You're a good shot, and I'd like to keep it that way. You got it, boss. Now get him those pills. Oh, she's not happy. Looks like nobody got a chance to donate anything before this all went down. Let's see, newspaper. Central High Tech State. Papers a week old. Feels like years. Man, that was intense. Should have let him kill the guy, the boy there. I don't like him at all. Got some snacks. Um, hold up. I don't, he's probably like, you wanna go outside? I'm gonna be like, no. I don't wanna go outside. Oh, this must be his family. That's what it looks like. The black. I mean, he was, he did say he was from Macon, didn't he? No, I'm sorry or to hear your loved one was eaten by the living dead guards. We can't let anything happen to Ducky. I know, hon. Talk to a faggot to the dog. Hey Lee. Really gave that old man hell. Yeah. We got pushed, you know? You don't have to tell me. I was ready to tear the man's head off. Anyway, we, Cat and I, 
Appreciate your support. Thank you, Lee. I'm stuck to it. It's okay. It was just a shock. We're lucky as hell nobody got nabbed on the way in here. No kidding. How is she doing? Oh, she's good. Yes. She's good, I think. She's a tough one right there. She's just a little girl, Ken. What are you saying, Lee? She spent days surviving on her own? That's right. Not just any little girl can do that. She's special. What's the plan? Hang tight, I suppose. Seems pretty dangerous out there, oh, so we ought to wait for things to clear up. You said your family was from here in Macon? That's right. Where are they? Should we go looking for them? They're in this place. They uh, own this place. They're gone. Oh, sweetie. Cat. They were good people. I wasn't around much, but yeah, they did. Are you guys all right? We're just fine, considering. How about you, Duck? We've all been through a lot. Lee, you got a second? Sure. What do you want, dude? I don't like you at all. Back on Herschel's farm. Yeah. I panicked, you know. I'm not proud of it. You let that boy die. I know, man. I don't I like this guy at all. What would it have taken? You free duck, you clear your head, and we get that tractor off his leg. That's what I keep thinking. I keep seeing his face. Good. You should. We need to be able to count on one another. <laughs> you deserved it. Ooh, candy. Is that? I swear I saw one of the. So this is must be where the his family was. Oh, why is Clementine following us? She follows us everywhere. I swear. See, let's look around. What's this? This door leads to the back alley. First aid kit. First aid kit. Well, don't just sit there. Open it. First oh, aid kit. Dang it. Right there. Luckily, there's nothing I need in here. There might be something the other guy needs. Well, Tans came in here hoping to survive. Be a hero, maybe. Or a protector, at least. Knowing your dad, he'd probably try to be a hero. There's a photo over there. Find anything? Track down the keys to the office. I know who you are. Do you know? You're Lee Everett. You're a professor at Athens who killed a state senator who was sleeping with your wife. This is your parents' store. Folks around town know the owner's son got himself a life sentence, but I'm a reporter for WABE in Atlanta. I paid attention to that trial. Maybe you're a murderer, but I don't really care. Frankly, that's a skill that might come in handy. <laughs> Did you tell anyone out there who you were or that you were tied to this place? The world is ending out there. Who cares who I am? If you don't think people will find any reason to turn on you, especially when the shit hits the fan, you're insane. Whatever. You seem like an okay guy, and the last thing we need is drama out there. You've got this little girl to take care of, and... Look, don't make me wrong on this. I don't plan to. Good, because if this lasts longer than a few days, and you're a detriment to the group, then we'd have a problem. 
I hear you. Your mom. I'll just keep it to myself. Thanks. Don't worry about it. Oh, man. I don't like the chick and her dad. They annoy me. Pick it up, dude. Come on, pick it up. So, yeah, I hope you guys have What's been that? enjoying the series. And this is probably his dad's this cane. This is my dad's cane. He zip around here on it from time to time. Was he sick? Nah, he was okay. I actually saw him whoop shop lift his women. <laughs> this cane's protected this place better than any guard dog ever could. Plus, he knew how to make it look cool. Like you with your hat. My dad gave it to me. See, dad's just smart like that. Oh, man. I ought to clear a path to opening that door. Better get this door clear, huh? Can I help? Sure. Thing. Sure. Here we go. Watch your fingers in the drawers. <sighs> Things have been scary, huh? Yeah. It's not good. I don't know why everyone is crazy. Neither do I, Clementine. Nobody does, I don't think. I bet my dad does. Okay, here we go. Do you have kids? No. No. You don't have a family? Let's not talk about that. Do you play sports? I play soccer, but I don't really like it. I'm not crazy about it either. All right, a little further. I thought she was about to hit her head. Why don't you want to talk about your family? Do they, like, hate you? Because they're dead. I'm sorry. You didn't know. I'm just sorry for being mean. Look, my family's gone and I just wish things would have been different. Yeah. I got into some trouble and, and I didn't talk to him for a while. This used to be their story. Oh man, I should have told Let's her that I actually killed somebody. You, okay. okay, because of the trouble? Let's get this done. Oh, I feel horrible. I semi lied to her. Ow! Are you okay? I hurt my finger. Is it bleeding? A little. I'll find you a bandage. There's probably one in the first aid kit. Um, what do you know? There's a bandage in the first aid kit. Let's open the drawer. Boom. Let's do this. Let's have a look at that finger. Ow. It hurt. Let's see if we can do something about it. Let's get this cut covered up. Yes, please. That's one weird bandage. I mean, if I've ever seen one, that's kind of... That's just like... Lee? Really weird. Yeah? What if my parents come home and I'm not there? They'll find us. They'll, uh, track us down. Don't worry. Yeah, okay. Well, we should keep a lookout. I've got my walkie-talkie in case they try that way. Stay close to me until then, okay? Have you heard from Glenn? Have you heard from Glenn? Not in a little while. Have you been seen okay? I wonder if she's hungry, because we have some food. Everyone out there seem all right to you. Yeah. Well, maybe not the sick guy. Yeah. We'll keep an eye on him. There was that thing in the bathroom. It tried to get me. 
I know. But you stopped it. Yeah, I did. <laughs> He's like, yeah. Can you do that more? I'm a badass. I'm not gonna go looking for them. <laughs> I mean, get the dangerous ones. I'm gonna try. Oh, man. Good. He's like, yeah, I'm a hero now. How's your finger? How's your finger? It's okay. Thanks for fixing it. I'm gonna keep looking around. Okay. I'm gonna keep looking around. Let's open this door. It's locked. We need to track down the keys if we're gonna help Larry. That might help. It's the remote to my dad's TV. Let's see, is there anything else? That's what I figured. Nothing? You figured it was nothing? I mean, I could have told you that much. Um, yeah, anyways, guys, since I actually have some time to talk before we hit another cutscene, I would like to say that I'm really enjoying this game so far, and I hope you guys are too. Want to head um, back into the drugstore with me? Okay. So, yeah, and... Lee? Yeah? You're not bad, right? Oh. I, uh, why are you asking me that? That lady said you killed someone. Was that because he was one of the things trying to eat you? No, he wasn't. No, he wasn't. Oh. Was he bad? He was. Why do you gotta ask so many personal questions, man? You gotta, like, touch my heart. But, other than having to check up on this guy real quick, um, there's probably... This game's gonna be really long, and I hope my commentary's not that boring, but I just don't want to talk when there's people talking. So I'm going to try and talk as much as I possibly can in between these little talk scenes right here and cut scenes and all that. Hope you guys have been enjoying this gameplay because I'm really enjoying this game and I hope you guys have been too. And let's keep going. Hey there, this is Glenn and uh, I'm kind of in a jam here. Uh, little girl, if you're there, can you put your daddy on the phone or on the talkie or whatever? This is Lee, what's up? So, I'm down at that motor inn, and, well, uh, I'm stuck. Stuck? Yeah, I, uh, uh, saw a chance to get some supplies for the group, and a bunch of the Roman ones got the jump on me. I'm hiding over here, but they won't leave. What's up? Glenn's trapped down at the motor inn. Hey, Glenn, we're gonna talk it over and send a group to come get you, all right? <sighs> awesome. I'll sit tight till then. Sounds good. I'm gonna hold on to this until we get Glenn back, okay? I'll take good care of it. What do you think? I think Doug's not great around zombies. You got your family here. I'll take Carly and her dead eye down to the motor inn, get Glenn, and get back here as fast as I can. If that's what you want to do, somebody's got to. Yeah, I'm in. Good. Doesn't sound too bad there right now. Let me know as soon as you want to head out. I could use a jog. I'll come to you. Ooh, more food. So I think I'm gonna just get some food, food, give it to some people, because we'll need it. I don't want to give her any, but starting now I'll give some to Clementine. It's not much, but here you go. Thank you. Of course. Take care of her. Um, can I walk, please? So like the non spacious thing. I'm gonna talk to this chick right here. Give her some, because you know I wanna hook her up. I've been finding some stuff to eat. Oh, um, uh, thanks. You're welcome. Are you sure your girl doesn't eat it? She's good. I've been trying to keep her fed and watered. You're a good caretaker. Thanks. Let me What are you messing around with there? A radio. I can't get it to work though. Here, let me have probably a missing batteries. Flip it over, man. Nope, that didn't work, so. Nothing, huh? Let's take out the batteries and nothing. There are no batteries in this thing. What now? You know that there are no batteries in that thing. Yeah, of course. I mean, yeah. <laughs> no. 
I can try to find some. Needs two. Thanks. I wouldn't even really know what to look for. How do you not know what batteries are? You're a news reporter and you don't know what batteries are. That is... That's pretty sad, I'm sorry to say, but that is, like, actually really sad that you don't know what batteries are. Like, everybody knows what batteries are. Everybody. I'm gonna get this battery back here, and he's gonna need two. I will not know where to find the other one, but I'm going to keep looking regardless. We just need to get back to Fort Lauderdale. We'll do our damnedest. That's, what is this? So I'm melted now. <laughs> yeah, funny. Um, where's that other battery? Uh, ooh, I have an idea. What about the remote? Can, how do I access stuff like over there? Hmm. Oh, that's sad. I don't know how to play this game. Let's go back and talk to her. Give her a battery. This battery should fit the radio. Great, thanks. Okay, now. Let's, um, yep. I found this remote in the office, but I'm pretty sure the batteries won't fit. It needs the big stumpy ones. Yeah, these are no good. The big st oh dear. Ah, <sighs> so now I gotta find it. I I Try thought that would rest. work, but now I have to find How something can I else. Those things out there. What's it called? Um, I hate you, duck. You don't deserve food. That's all. Let's see. Give her some, I guess. It's not much, but here. You sure? Yeah. You're under quite a bit of stress. Thanks. That's, uh, really sweet. Don't mention it. Should hook up. Have a threesome? I mean, what? I didn't say anything. So now I need to find that. Oh, found the battery. Let's go give it back to her, and then we'll end the episode there because I don't want to go out and make it too long. So let's give her the battery. Here's another one. Should be able to get it to work now. It's still not working. Yeah, I can't figure it out. Let me have a look. You are there. really not technically savvy, are you? I'm gonna pick it up. Hit the power button. <sighs> Nothing. Volume. Let's ch flip it over. I bet you she put the batteries in backwards. Ho ho ho! Look who's smart. Flip it back over. Since she's not very bright. You fixed it. That's pretty sad that she didn't know how to do that. The station is okay. In the event of a full uh, uh, my, my producer's telling me we have to get off the air. Steve. Uh, God bless you all. Well then. That, this is The Walking Dead. I'm going to end it here because I don't know how many I've been playing. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this. This is um, Insane QBX signing off. And have a great and wonderful night.